Well, when it, it comes to choosing a wallpaper base, we do a lot of research and look at a lot of different things, like which markets we're going to be trying to go into with that, um, how it's going to express aesthetically, but then also more nuts and bolts stuff, the, the, the finish, how matte it is, um, the opacity of it, um, and then just comparing price points between what we can find domestically, what's going on internationally, and through that kind of alchemy, come up with a, a choice that's gonna hit as many sweet spots as possible. Um, we picked the sill design to wallpaper because it hit so many aspects of a quality wall covering that we're looking for. The matte finish is absolutely lovely, um, but on the more technical side, it runs through our presses really well. Um, we don't get any head strikes or any issues like that. Um, and then again, it's uh, also a really quality product. Um, the rigidity of it makes it really easy to install. The installers that we work with absolutely love it. So from the testing phase, we played around with it a little bit, passed it off to our installers. It was pretty much a no-brainer that we wanted to go with this product for a new line. The advantage that the, uh, the sill designed to wall material brings to our business is just like the, the, the really lovely aesthetic finish of it. That matte point of the paper is something that our, our really high-end clientele are looking for. Um, they don't want something that's going to look finely and shiny, which, you know, your typical sign shop that's producing wallpaper, that might be all they've known and all they can use. Um, so again, with going after a high-end market, they're definitely looking for that more matte finish, which the sill product certainly has. The, the new line that we launched with the Design to Wall Sill Paper is called West Wall and Kitson. Um, whereas with the Detroit Wallpaper Company, um, which is very kind of a geometric and a little bit more hard edged, um, West Wall and Kitson represents a little bit more of a softer side. Um, all the patterns are based typically on hand done uh, painting techniques. So we have watercolor patterns, um, we have patterns that are based on uh, sumitagashi or paper marbling techniques. Um, those are all created by hand, scanned in, and then digitally manipulated. Um, one other aspect of that collection kind of going along, that kind of like softer, more ethereal side, is our Clouds and Smoke series, um, which you see behind me, this one is called Nimbus. Um, again, using smoke, clouds, giving like you know, these really kind of like gossamer, barely there kind of designs, but some of a little bit of uh, drama to them. Um, so yeah, the, the sill design wall material is primarily what we produce this collection on. We also have a paper weave that we do uh, some of the patterns on as well. Um, but yeah, primarily the, uh, the basis of the collection is on the sill design to wall material. Currently our, our, our West Wall and Kitson collection is being represented by Salon Design and Gallery in Manhattan. Um, having just launched the line, that's the, the first showroom that we've gotten up and running. Um, so we have, we have that one um, that's represented in line. We have a couple other showrooms coming online. Um, we did, um, we launched the, the line at uh, High Point Market in the uh, spring of 2017. Um, so from that, you know, we've been filling orders from designers that we met there, um, be it that they're working for larger firms or just like more independents and working out of their, uh, their own spaces. Um, so that's what we're working on is getting more showrooms to, uh, to come online. Um, we do represent the collection online as well. Um, the collection is a trade-only collection, so retail clients can't go on there and just order online, um, but they can, their designer, they can direct them to the website and with the designers, we set up an account for them so they can then log in, view everything, and view pricing.